So in this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to plot two different scale of data in the same graph. So first of all, let me grab the data from Yahoo Finance. So just let me dig inside, import pandas data reader dot data as web. Just get some Dow Jones DJI data from Yahoo Finance. The stock is equal to the symbol. Symbol should be DJI. Let me see. Okay. Start day equals just pick whatever day should be Jan 29th. And the end day. Okay. So I need a daytime package. It's DT. Okay. So the end day should be DT dot daytime dot today. I need to save it in a table called DF. So it's web dot data reader and it should be the stock and I'm going to get it I'm going to get it from Yahoo and start n okay so let me just print out the last five days see if I can get any data good just wait yep good March 13 so last Friday very good and okay so now i'm going to print the volume and the adjusted close column because they are in different scale let me just put these two columns together so let me just import mat oops matplotlib dot i plot s p l t and let me just do okay just put it in x axis so the x axis is the date, right? So um it's just df.index because you see the date here, right? This column is simply um the index column. So if you call df.index, you will get the date. Okay. And then y1, let me just put the y value to be volume. Oops, volume. <laughs> the volume column and y2 is the ADJ close. Oops. Should be df adj close and so here i'm going to split the axis because we share the same x axis right so i'm going to assign the figure and the axis one so i call it axis one axis two okay so i call it axis one and they should be equal to plt dot uh make it as subplots uh okay and i should duplicate axis one to be I should duplicate axis one and create axis two. Okay, axis two equals f axis one twin x. Okay, let me shift enter see if I can yeah no error. Very good. Okay, let me get back. I just don't know why I can't get it before. I tried it here now so shift enter so you should see no graph here. So let me continue with the curve. So I should have two curves, right? So curve one should be equal to the axis one. So I plot with the axis one dot plot. And then the x value is this one, df dot x. And y1 is the df. The y value should be y1 df volume. Okay, so x and y1. And the label is called um, volume. And this one, I give it color red. Okay. And for curve two, curve two is the axis two. But the y value should be y two, which is this one. Yeah, just a close. Oops. Let me just scroll it down. And it's the close. Let me just give it a label and make it. Blue. Okay, shift enter. And then I try to plot it. ELT dot plot and then show. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I forgot something because the matplotlib for matplotlib, I think I have to make it matplotlib inline. Let me try the register this one. Control slash make it shift. See if it works. Yeah, okay, no error. Okay, shift enter, run that. Okay, shift enter. Oh, no graph again. How come? Try. Shift. 
Or maybe they should have. Yeah, maybe they have to be put together. Shiffin. Yeah, I know why. So let's X. Let's put all these together. Pro V. Pro X. And put it underneath here. Control V. So we have the code here. And let me shift a graph like this. So let's look back. So I should have the x value, the x axis equal to the time, which is df dot index. If you scroll up, this is the column df dot index, and the y one should be volume, right? And it should be on the axis one, right? Curve one, axis one is this one. The volume, is it volume? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's volume. And y two is the adjusted close, which is the close one. Like this. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Thank you. Bye bye.